right. Well, we're on our way. The uh, family and I, Emily and Yumiko and I, are headed off to uh, get something special for our uh, sister-in-law, uh, Jennifer, and her husband. What's that guy's name? Uh, something. Oh, something, yeah. Oh, Lyle! That's right, that's right. Yeah. Lyle and Jen are expecting their first baby, a little boy, and uh, we're going to do something very uh, much in the tradition of Japan. We're going to uh, go and get them a special uh, omomori called an anzan omomori. Yes. I said it right. Got it right. All right. <laughs> anzan omomori, which is a special kind of a luck charm that's associated with the uh, Shinto religion here in Japan. So we're going to go up to a very famous shrine here in Shizuoka and uh, pick it up. And we're going to videotape it along the way and show you uh, what we see and what we do along the way. Yes. Hi, Jennifer. Hi, Lyle. Congratulations. We're so excited. I want to get you a little, some, uh, little present for you. And we're going to go get it. It's a nice sunny day during the rainy season. It's raining all morning. Oh, yeah. So that? We have to be pr protected. Hot. There you go. What, what, what's that perfume? <laughs> sunblock. <laughs> ah, sunblock. Mm -hmm. Yeah, leave without it. Lots and lots of it. Yeah. None for me though. <laughs> In the face? Oh. Okay, we're all ready now. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Let's get going. Let's go. Okay, see you guys in up in the hills in just a bit. Here we go. Bye. <laughs> bye bye. Shiny thing, please. Shiny thing, please. You know, shiny thing. Come on, we don't have all day. Shiny thing, please. Just, oh! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well. oh! No. Okay. Well, we're off to a good start. <laughs> just, just cut it up. Okay. Sheesh. Oh, there we go. Guys. <laughs> almost, almost, almost. That okay, that's it. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> that's it. I'm dead. <laughs> Well, we're up at the uh, top of what's called Nihon Daira. It's a small mountain range near Shizuoka. And what you're looking at there is the actual city of Shizuoka down below. And you hear mo motorcycles in the background. This is a real popular place for motorcycles and the like. Hi, Yumiko and Emily. Hey. Yep, this is your home. This is where you grew up, right, Yumiko? Yeah. That's right, and where Emily's growing up, too. Lots of bees around here. Lots of big old bees. Yeah, Japan is notorious for the world's largest hornets, and we've got to keep our eyes out for them. Yeah. Well, now we're going to go into this building here and mount the uh, tram. You can see the aerial tram station right there, and that'll take us across a uh, deep ravine all the way over to the shrine. Let's go. <laughs> 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 
And in case you're wondering, yes, Shizuoka Japan is the home of giant robots. Yes, that's right, giant robots, little tiny planes, and lots and lots of remote control cars. Actually, Shizuoka is uh, famous for uh, uh, many model manufacturer companies in this uh, area. There you go, giant robots. The area in, that we're in right now includes the Miho Peninsula, which is very famous uh, for its black sand. Also, uh, this area is very close to Mount Fuji. We can't see it today due to the clouds, but that's what it would look like if we could see it. Here's the port city of Shimizu, and you can again see Mount Fuji in the background there, and still another view of the city. Little images of uh, what our area looks like. Okay. に参りも well, we made it. We are. These are the good luck charms that uh, people can use to uh, get their fortune. Back in the old days in Japan, wheels weren't allowed. Everyone had to be carried around. And so this is a kago, a uh, litter that someone would use to uh, carry someone. And Emily's getting on board. She Is it comfortable? How is it? Okay? And uh, a one or two bears would be here in the back, and another one or two bears would be here in the front, and carry our little girl around like a princess. Yep, there goes Mama. One, two, go! Oh, Muri. <laughs> Very nice. And we have over here a little place where you can uh, wet your hands in leaky bamboo. <laughs> I gotta pee. <laughs> and there you go, this is the entrance to the shrine up here. Before this was a shrine, it was a fortress, and this was a long time back. And these immense stone steps were specifically designed to make uh, access very difficult for any attackers. Large steps leading right up to the temple gate or the shrine gate. And me. And you. <laughs> Big steps. Emily. How's it going? Kambate mama. Looks a little like Ranger, I'd say. Don't you think so? Let me just give you a brief rundown of the history of this shrine. One of the most famous uh, leaders in Japanese history, one of the most famous samurai, is a man named Tokugawa Ieyasu. And if you've read the book or you've seen the movie Shogun, there was a character in that uh, a novel called the Tok Tokunag Tok Toranaga. And Toranaga, the character, was based on the real man, Tokugawa Ieyasu. Tokugawa Ieyasu was a great warrior. He fought in over 90 battles and successfully unified the country of Japan in about 1600. And uh, this shrine is uh, dedicated to him after he died here in Shizuoka. He spent a good part of his life here in Shizuoka. His uh, ashes were interred on top of this mountain and uh, for one year before they were moved to their permanent location. So this entire shrine is dedicated to the deified spirit of Tokugawa Ieyasu, one of the greatest warriors in all of Japanese history. All right, let's go inside and have a look. Come on.
this particular uh, uh, small shrine is uh, dedicated for um, pregnant women as well. Although it's a horse, it is indeed dedicated for uh, pregnant women. So we're going to go ahead and offer our prayers here. Emmy, what'd you get? Oh, the best fortune. Let me see. Emmy yeah. got her fortune number one. All right, good, Hi. excellent luck. friends during summer vacation? Very good. Well, that looks good, Mama. Very nice. So a nice wish for uh, Emily's future cousin, huh? Got there, Mama. Okay. This is Anzan Omomori. Anzan Omomori. There it is. Very, very nice. Now, how will Jennifer use this? She can carry it in, in her purse. She doesn't have to keep it in this box. There's a little cord, right? Yeah. Right here? Can I pull it up? Some, some people use the cord to attach it to a bag or something, right? Just like I do. 
Ah, uh-huh, you have one. That's right. Yeah. For a different purpose, though. Right. Wow, that's very nice. So she can use this, and it'll it helps to ensure uh, um, uh, easy delivery and uh, healthy pregnancy, right? Yep. Very, very nice. A little bit of uh, Japan tradition for your uh, expected little one. Great. Well, thank you for. Uh, for coming along on the steps. We have a few more steps to show us. We're going to go through that corridor up to the actual uh, mausoleum, and uh, then we'll move on from there. And now we've reached the mausoleum. This is where the uh, shogun's ashes were interred for that one year after his death. And after that point, then the ashes were moved to their permanent location in Nikko. There it was, the resting place for the most important man in Japanese history. Well, that sure was a fun uh, hike up the uh, mountain there. We made, we made it to the top, we made it across the uh, ropeway gorge, we made it up the mountain, and now we were able to uh, reach our goal and get the omomori that we needed for you guys and we wanted to give you. So, uh, from the top of uh, Mount Kurozan in uh, Shizuoka, Japan, we're just going to say bye-bye for now and wish you guys all the best with your upcoming little boy, baby boy. And uh, we hope you can't wait to meet him and uh, the whole family, right? Yeah. So, Take care. Take care. Bye-bye, guys. We love you. See you. Bye.